myself Harshal Vag, rule number 61, division 9. I am going to explain Bernoulli's principle. This principle states that when a fluid's velocity increases, pressure decreases. This can be easily explained with the help of two blank papers. When we hold these and blow between them, they come together. This is because the air between them moves faster and pressure decreases, which forces them to come together. We can also show the decrease in pressure with the help of this. As I, as I will blow above this tube, the liquid in the tube will rise. This happens because the fluid velocity here increases which lowers the pressure here and causes the liquid to suck through the tube. Similar thing happens if we rotate a tube of bigger diameter in the air in a circular direction. In that case, the air in the surrounding is constant but the velocity of air inside the tube increases. So it doesn't matter if the air inside the tube is moving or the air outside the tube is moving. Velocity here is relative. That's why we are advised to stay away from moving trains. If it's moving too fast, it might just pull us in. Similarly, we might lose our balance on a two-wheeler while going on a highway if a bigger vehicle passes by with a high speed. Bernoulli's principle helps explain why an aircraft can achieve lift. The wings are shaped in such a way that the air on the top of the wings flows faster and the air below it flows slower, which causes high pressure area underneath it, which pushes the aircraft upwards into the lower pressure zone. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.